Let me ask you this question. If you get the square root of 9, and then you times it with the square root of 25, is that the same as uh, the square root of 9 times 25? So let's, let's, let's try and work this, this out. Hang on. Uh, let, let me get, uh, get a calculator out. Uh, 9 times 25. 9 times 25 equals this. And, and then you take the square root of it, it equals 15. So this thing here is 15. My question is, is, uh, is this times this, is that the same as this? Well, square root of 9 is 3. Okay, square root of uh, 25 is uh, is 5. So 3, well, 3 times 20, well, basically, these these two are actually the same for, for, the, for this case. So, so, this, so this times this is the same as, as, uh, as doing these two first. Now, let, let me ask you this question. Would this be true? Uh, square root of 4 times the uh, square root of 64, is that the same as, as the square root of 4 times 64? So hang on, let's get a calculator out and work this out. So that will become, hang on, uh, clear 6 times 64. So what did I say? Uh, hang on, let, let me start again. I'm talking rubbish. Uh, 4 times uh, 64 equals, equals that, and then square root it. Square root it, so that would be 16. So, so this whole thing here is 16. Now, we're, we're, we're asking, is this times this, does, does it equal this? So let's hang on. Square root of 4 is 2. Square root of, um, of, uh, 64 is 8. So in this case, it's also true. So in general, can, can we say, um, this, times this, is that the same as this? You see, how, you could probably guess, but how can you be sure? Um, we, we've seen it, but it's, it's true in, in this case, and it's true in this case, but how do we know it will always be true? See, here to answer this question, you can actually use indices. So, so visualize this as this, a to the power of a half. Okay, so, so we've got a to the power of half times b to the power of a half. Okay, so, so we, 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 we started here. Somehow we have to get to, to this bit here by, by using indices. So, so, um, visualize this thing as, as a, a to the power of a half times b to the power of a half. Okay, so now, um, now visualize it as this, uh, a to the power, to the power of one, b to the power of one, uh, time, uh, to the power, to power it to the half. Okay. So, so from here, get to this stage here. Because if, if I remember this thing here, if, um, if we have, uh, x, uh, to the power of five, y to the power of six, and then power it to the three, you would get this times this. Well, look at this. A half times one would be a to the half. And then a half times, times this would be would be a half. So what I'm saying is, when we were here, we can actually jump to here. Okay. So, um, so, uh, so once you're here, then because it's a to the power of one, you can just remove it. So it's basically a uh, because it's a to the power. Well, and anyway, it was like this here to the power of a half. Okay. But the thing is, to the power of one, we don't bother putting it in there because it looks better and neater without. So it would be this. Now, A, A, B, it's, it's like this being stuck in a bubble now. So, so, is this bub, is this A, B stuck in a bubble to the power of a half? Well, to the power of a half is like the square root of that bubble. So, yeah, so, so there, we, we've just, we stuck, well, we, we just got to this, to where we want. Look at this, back here is, is, uh, square root of A, B. And look at this, square root of A, B. Okay, let, 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 let me do it again. Hang on. So you started here. Visualize this as a, uh, well, visualize this as this block times this block. So you can write it as a to the power of a half, b to the power of a half. Okay. Next step, um, um, next step is to visualize it like this, a to the power of one, b to the power of one, and everything to the power of a half, a half here. Okay, because, because you would get this times this. 
Okay, uh, and then and then you would get this times this. So um, so we are allowed to do to do it from from here to here. This is a legitimate le legitimate move. Okay, so now now um, well now this becomes a b to the power of a half because we 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 well we can just remove the one. Okay, um, well and anyway. Uh, let me put it back in here. So, so once we're here, we can jump to this step. Now, this step, well, you can imagine this as being in a bubble here. So it's just a bubble, uh, a b to the power of a half. Okay. And then, well, the minute you you have a power of, uh, to well, the minute you have to the power of a half, you can visualize it as, as this square root a b. And don't forget, this is like a bubble if you want. Well, anyway, this thing here. Is the same as this, okay? And and that's what we want: square root of a b, okay? The the question is, what um will, will this be true? Uh, hang on, let's 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 this one here: the cube root of a times the cube root of b, will, will, will that be the same as cube root of a b? Well, you can actually use indices to to uh, well, I, I don't know if this is true or not. You you probably have to investigate for yourself. How about if we have like um, square root of a uh, times the square root of b times the square root of c? Is that the same as uh, square root of uh, a times b times c? Or, or what if we have some like um, square uh, the the eighth root of a and the times the eighth root of b? Is that the same as the eighth root of of a b? You see, you can use indices to to answer these questions. Okay. Um, well, well, it, it is possible to use indices to show what. Well, I'm not saying that the, 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 these are true. I'm just saying uh, these are just my questions. I'm, well, you can actually. I, I don't know if they're true. So, so you you might have to investigate for yourself.